उम्मीद करते हैं आप भी सब खैरियत से होंगे और अपनी लाइफ को इंजॉय कर रहे होंगे तो और करना भी चाहिए करना भी चाहिए तो आज आपसे आपके लिए हम एक और सवाल भी लेके आए हैं और एक वीडियो भी लेके आए इंटरेस्टिंग तो सवाल ये है जो आपसे जे जे भाई पूछेंगे चले भाई पूछें मेरा सब दोस्तों से एक सवाल है कि जो मुर्गी होती है ना वो अंडा देती है गाय दूध देती है अब आपने मुझे ये बताना है कि वो कौन सा जानदार है जो ये दोनों चीज़ें देता है तो अब आपने ये हमें कमेंट में बताना है और वीडियो की तरफ चलते हैं वीडियो इंडिया और पाकिस्तान के बारे में है वो वीडियो हम देखेंगे इससे पहले कि वीडियो देखें ये पति साहब आपसे कुछ बातें करना चाहते हैं जी आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना हमारी वीडियो को लाइक करना और हमें कमेंट सेक्शन में इसके बारे में बताना जरूर है लाजमी सब्सक्राइब लाजमी करें शुक्रिया तो चले आए आप वीडियो देखते हैं जी Pakistan and India are two countries that aren't foreign to the large number of people who watch our videos. Both countries are rich with culture and have great pride unlike any other. Although stemming from the same origins, India and Pakistan are two separate nations with two completely separate identities now. Thank you guys once again for joining me on another episode of FT Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton and I'm going to be exploring these two countries in a side by side comparison in this episode of which country is better. Now the question I got to throw out there is what country do you think is better, India or Pakistan? Pretty sweet forward. Let me know down below and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Okay, so let me begin exploring these two great countries. Let's look at the population first. So, the population of Pakistan is 198 million 304,221 and the population density sits at 256 per square kilometer. India's population on the other hand is a lot larger. It's at 1 billion 344 million 238,148 and India of course is the second most populated country in the entire world. Its population density is at 450 per square kilometer. Now when it comes to land size, the land size of India is 3.287 million square kilometers and that's about 1,269,219 square miles. Pakistan's land size sits at 796,095 square kilometers, which is roughly 307,774 square miles. Now life expectancy in both countries are pretty similar in India the average age is 68.5 years with males at 67.3 years and females at 69.8 years the life expectancy in Pakistan is 67.7 years males at 65.8 and females at 69.8 Now in taking a look at the cultures of these two countries so secularism in India refers to the equal treatment of all religions by the state with the 42nd amendment of the constitution of India enacted in 1976 it asserted that India is a secular nation however neither India's constitution or its laws define the relationship between religion and state whereas Pakistan is a muslim state India has around an 80% Hindu population while Islam is a predominant religion in Pakistan so much so that it has a second largest Muslim population in the world Pakistan alone which is 5 times smaller than India has 300 dialects and languages now this count in India is a lot more than 1500 but for the official languages the constitution of India designates the official language of the government of India as Hindi as well as English and there is no national language in India 
Pakistan's national language is Urdu, which along with English is also the official language. Now in 2015, the government in Pakistan announced plans to actually make Urdu the sole official language and get rid of English as the second official language. When it comes to the dollars, the money of India and Pakistan, Pakistan uses the Pakistani rupee and India uses the Indian rupee. The GDP at India sits at 9.489 trillion US dollars and the GDP of Pakistan is at 1.060 trillion US dollars. And this is based on the purchasing power parity. When it comes to food now, India is a big place, of course, right? Now, it used to be even bigger, consisting of areas that are now Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar, which was formerly known as Burma. So the whole idea of Indian food is not necessarily 100% accurate. Although the term Pakistani cuisine can also be pretty vague considering that Pakistan didn't exist until 1947, but uh, Pakistani cuisine can be considered, let's say, a subset of Indian cuisine. But like when you look at the subsets, it's pretty diverse with all the different spices and the ingredients. We don't see too much differences in terms of the food in India and Pakistan. But let's just take, for example, you know, the kind of food that you would find cooking in a South Indian home, you know, the dal, the resam, the sambars, etc. It's completely different from Pakistan's kebabs or the naans and curries and meats that are served in an Indian restaurant. But that's enough food talk for me. I'm kind of getting hungry. I'm probably going to chow down after this episode. But uh, let's look at the militaries of these two countries. So currently, Pakistan's military is ranked 13th in the world. Pakistan's armed forces are made up by three different branches. We have the Pakistan Army, the Pakistan Air Force, and the Pakistan Navy. Now, the available manpower in Pakistan sits at 95 million people, and their total military personnel sits at 1,135,000. That includes active personnel, which is 620,000, and reserve personnel, which is 515,000 people. And the defense budget in Pakistan increased to $8.7 billion this year. Now, they're the sixth largest in the world in terms of active military personnel and the largest among Muslim countries. And this next one is huge. It's reported that Pakistan is the only Muslim majority country to possess nuclear weapons. Their military also has a special service group, which is known as the SSG. It's the primary special operations force of the Pakistan army. Because the SSG go through a huge range of just intense training, in 2015, they were actually listed as the best special forces group in the entire world. Now looking at the military of India. So India has the third largest military in terms of active frontline personnel. But when we take a look at the total military power, they are ranked fourth on the global scale. The defense budget is way up to $53.5 billion. And actually, the Indian Ministry of Defense says India will need $233 billion to meet its military budget in 11 years. Now, there's something pretty cool I want to throw in here. In late 2016, India actually completed its nuclear triad by adding a strategic nuclear submarine, the INS Ironhand, into its military. India has become one of the only countries to do so. And if you're unsure of what a nuclear triad is, well, pretty much it's the ability to launch nuclear warheads from land and from the sky as well as from the sea as well. When we look at the film industry, Lollywood is the oldest film industry of Pakistan cinema based in Lahore. But up until 2007 though, Lahore was a center of Pakistan cinema, producing films in both Punjabi and Urdu. However, since 2007, Karachi has overtaken Lahore in Urdu film productions. And for some of you, this may be the first time you're hearing the word Lollywood. So where did that name actually come from anyways? Well, it was coined back in 1989 by a gossip colonist named Salim Nasser, and he wrote for Glamour magazine that was published in Karachi. Now, Bollywood, of course, in India is only a part of the larger Indian cinema, also known as Indiewood. In 2016, Bollywood earned $2.4 billion, and they make up about 43% of the overall revenue coming from India's entire film industry. 
So India and Pakistan have shared and continue to share a very extremely turbulent historical relationship. The Indian subcontinent used to be ruled by the British Empire for almost 200 years. Some of you may know this, but when World War II ended, the British were in no position to continue their hold on the Indian subcontinent. And the British partitioned the Indian subcontinent into two separate nations, India and Pakistan. On August 14th, Pakistan became an independent country. However, there was really no correct way of how to actually divide the land. So there was a mix of Hindus and Muslims living in the land for generations. And this partition resulted in the loss of life on both sides. Almost 20 million people were displaced from their homes as well. It's been 70 years and these two countries continued to overcome various hurdles and now are recognized on the global scale in many different areas. This episode of FTD Facts is brought to you by Grammar. Hello, India and Pakistan हमें तो बहुत पसंद आया अब आपने हमें कमेंट करके बताना तो आपको कैसा लगा है? जी तो और मेरा सवाल का जवाब लाज भी दीजिएगा जी वीडियो अच्छी लगे तो लाइक करना मत भूलें शेयर भी करें और सब्सक्राइब करें चैनल को जी तो हम तो कोई राय भी नहीं दे सकते आप जो पाकिस्तानी देखे इंडियन देखे वो अपनी राय बता सकता हमें कमेंट में तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में अल्लाह हाफिज़ टेक केयर